My name is the Rizzo, who is exact to the law. We rockin' right here on Urban J Productions, yo, you heard it, God. Play the blacksmith, God. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, that's what um, I mean. Yeah, the blacksmith. You, you, you gonna love what I do. Make the tools. Yeah, you gonna love. You gonna love what the, what the guard add on to the movie. But the main jewel is that I also went and got some of the same people that like see Drunken Master One and Two. Mm -hmm. Jackie Chan Jones. Jackie Chan Jones. I got the DP from that movie. Mm -hmm. You ever see a movie called Detective D and the Holy Flame? That was the biggest movie last year. Or the Fourteen Blades. These are all Donnie Yen, Yip Man shit. So you got I got those I got that DP. Okay, okay. The, the niggas who hold the camera. Okay. This is a real major Hollywood production, but they put the power in my hand to go and collect the best. Shrek. Okay. You ever seen Funk to You Part One and Two? Mm -hmm. Damn. That was directed by Corey Yoon. Exactly. Corey Yoon helped in my action in my movie, right. bro. Okay, mm. okay. Peace. There's nothing but the best. So mm. what's the release date? The release date is November 2nd. I mean, I'm not bragging about it, but he watched Kung Fu movies. So I want to know that I went and got the authentic. Yeah, what makes it ever scorpion. Now, what makes it different is that mine's is from an American um, standpoint. Perspective. Yeah, exactly. Sensibility. And also, it's mostly English speaking. It's very few. I put some subtitles in for the fuck of it. Subtitles. No, I put some subtitles in it for the fuck of it because, you know, we like subtitles sometimes. Right, right. But ours is English. I mean, I got the brothers over there who could speak the English clear or taught them, yo, you gotta say it like this. Like, okay. and, it's, and it's bon bon. And how long did it take you to make this? Uh, of actual filming and, and production, that was a 150 day process. Mm -hmm. But of actually making it come to fruition, it was six years. Fuck that, I'm going to party with y'all niggas. Fuck, don't go. Fuck that, I'm going to party You've been doing a lot of stuff, a lot of beats, now you're into movies. What's next for the Riz? I mean, you done reached the, you know, Mount Everest, you know what I'm saying? You're above Mount Everest, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's next? Now, what I'm saying for the Riz, I mean, I think you top that. What's next? Well, uh, in, my, in my plan of life, you know what I mean? It's a long to master plan, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it says, Thy will be done. You know what I mean? So I'm adding my will. You know I'm I know the Father has the most powerful as well. Indeed. At the same time, Thy will be done as well, so I'm adding my will. And then, um, when I first made 36 Chambers, you know what I mean? I went on a mission to make classic albums. And according to the fans and the survey and the history, they say I was able to make five classic albums in a row. So I'm striving to do that in the films. At least give you five in so a row. So this just. That's the just first one. one. That's just the first one. Right? Oh, what's, the, what's to come? Okay. Right. <laughs> Well, I ain't gonna compare it, but I have a Sifu here, Fox Shaolin Temple himself. Oh, come here, Sifu. Come here, Sifu. What I wanna say. Mm. Ah, we're getting deep, we're getting deep, we're getting deep, we're getting deep. Alright, so, I'm in the park. I'm gonna talk about Sifu. Peace. Sifu was, was born, I think there was some history about him. He was born, history, he was born um, in China at the age of six. He got sick. And his parents took him and left him at Shaolin Temple. He stayed there for over 25 years about. And after that, he learned all the science, whether it's medicine, kung fu, especially, mostly, Chan philosophy. Chan philosophy brought by Bodhidharma, which has been translated by the Japanese as Zen, which means enlightenment instantly, if you could get it. We deal with knowledge itself. You know, when you put certain mathematics, it enlightens you. Instantly. 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 Right then. Merry Christmas. Bon bon. Every, <laughs> Happy New Year. Exactly. Oh, every day, what do you mean by that? Every day should be Merry Christmas. Every day should be Happy New Year. Peace. Now, Sipu took me back to Shaolin. He took me to Shaolin personally. Mm -hmm. And I met his abbot and his master. And he ordained me as a Shaolin disciple. But we didn't stop there, God. 
We went to the original. We're a, fa we're a family. I'm six, exactly. I'm sorry, I'm, excuse me. I'm and we went to the like the Wolf Forever. Wolf Forever. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And we went to the Wu Tang Mountain, didn't we? Yes. The real Wu Tang Mountain that started it. Now we didn't know the signs, God, the signs. We didn't Yo. know. I met the abbot of Wu Tang. He was and he met him. They both did Tai Chi and Kung Fu together. But we took a picture near the mountains, right? Yes. And what did the mountains look like, see Like top cheap When you show the world. Also you rap. Ever before in history. Yeah, I'm the first man ever rap in front of Shaolin. At the Sean Temple. You're in front of Sean Temple. That's 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 big. You know what I'm saying? Mega, yo, <laughs> seriously, no, 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 no. And at the Wu Tang Mountain, yes. the, the mountains had the shape of the W. And when Sipu said to me, when he pointed out to me, he was like, "History already knows what we're doing. History already knows what we're destined to do." You know what I mean, so History already the eight immortals are actually Wu Tang. Damn, damn, damn. you hear what he said? So, right? so they wanted to say. Yeah, they the mortals all yo. from Wu Tang philosophy. Yeah, that's that's, yo, that's you more than what this nigga is saying right here. Peace. The ding. Translated means man deserving of God, or he who deserves to be God. Peace. It comes from a, it comes from General Wu. Yo. General Wu Peace. was Peace. trying to strive to find God. Exactly. And he we built God. We built you. He jumps off the mountain, huh? but then died. He said he ascended up to God. Enlightenment, you know what I mean? Exactly. So like, Wu Tang means man deserving to be God. That's, I learned that from the Abbot of Wu Tang himself. Jacob, that's loud, God. Yourself, there's a lot of artists in the game with the knowledge yourself. My question to you is, what effect does the knowledge yourself have on the success of your career history? Oh, excuse me. Actually, knowledge itself is so vital because it saves your life. You know what I mean? Actually, a lot of artists in the industry don't have knowledge itself. We need more brothers with knowledge itself because they have currency, they have money, they have ego, they have ambition, they have all these things. But without knowledge itself, they're not grounded. Application. So, we need more knowledge of self in our industry. I strive for y'all young brothers in the game, especially brothers that's growing up from different parts of the country. You don't get access to brothers like us. To seek out brothers like us. I was so happy when I seen on um, Waka Flocka had a brother, a God amongst his cipher. And I met the God, you know what I mean? The God was like, yo, I'm going to make sure I speak mathematics, you know what I mean, to maybe help his mind. Mathematics is something you choose and make a choice for yourself, you know what I mean? For knowledge of self, God, to know the ledge, so you don't pull up the edge into the devil's civilization is vitally important. So it's very important. For me, it saved my life. Man. The hip hop industry, what direction is it going? Is it going in a positive direction or is it going in a negative direction? It's always positive because it's feeding families. It's always positive because it's feeding families. No matter how much negative they try to put around it, it feeds families. I just came from Atlanta and I've seen a lot of the up and coming artists or the artists that's already successful and they're doing well. Uh, you know, they're doing how we was doing back when we first saw Rock Kim with this big change. And you've seen the Boot Chain come through with Ray Kwan with their Land Cruisers and, and Benzes and all that. Now they, now they got that, you know what I mean? So, so Allah is merciful. You don't leave, it says in the Holy Quran, 
But we send prophets to everywhere. We don't even skip nobody. We don't even skip the Indians who we exile. Peace. All Show what we had. Hey, yo, I don't, I don't, I don't not, not to be uh, selling y'all anything because I ain't here to sell, but I'm here to tell you something. On November 2nd, my movie, The Man with the Iron Fist, will be out of theaters. And trust me, it's fun, it's action, and of course, I put a spoonful of wisdom in there for you because I couldn't forget the God. Black, but don't see it. Peace. It's the only piece of